Kenya Legal and Ethical Issues Network on HIV and Africa Gender and Media Initiative Trust, together with five women living with HIV, have filed two petitions in the High Court seeking to prove that forced sterilization is not justifiable. They are suing the national government, the Nairobi City County government, and five medical centers. These women, none of them is employed. They all depend on their spouses. They all are small-scale farmers, and they do not have any form of income. So they're not in employment, and they live day-to-day -day based on their small incomes they get from doing uh, home-based farming to get some staple food for themselves and their children. Thank you. Thank you. The women, through their lawyer Alan Maleche, claim they were sterilized without their consent. We have some women who were informed by the healthcare workers that if they did not undergo the process of tubal ligation or sterilization, they would not be given formula milk or food supplements for their children. We have women who were given consent forms, but the consent forms were never explained to them. We have women who were never given any documents to sign, and the procedure was done without their knowledge. And we have women who are given incentives like vouchers to reduce the cost of what they would pay in a maternity hospital. The petitioners warned the judiciary to stop health facilities from carrying out forced sterilization as well as declare that women living with HIV have equal reproductive rights as other women. Forcing women to undergo sterilization for purposes of either giving them formula milk or for purposes of giving them food or not even getting their consent amounts to a violation of their human rights. We are also looking for the court to make declarations that women who are living with HIV have got equal reproductive health rights like any other women and to choose a procedure that they want. This is the first case in Kenya and indeed East Africa. A similar case was heard in Namibia and the European Courts of Human Rights. All parties will appear in court on the 8th of May 2014 to set a hearing date.